Um, thank you so much to my subscribers. Welcome newcomers. I hope you like what you see, and if so, be part of this journey with us. We are one growing family all together. And by hitting that subscription button and the bell notification to be notified of the new uploads, the subscription, of course, is free. The tutorial is free. Everything is free. So the least you can do is help out the channel to grow by subscribing. Also, make your comment. That helps the channel for the YouTube to recognize that... You know, people are interested in this channel. And please do give a thumbs up. Very, very extremely important. I want to thank every single one of you for your love and support, your beautiful comments. You guys are just amazing. And you keep feeding me all that good energy to keep going on these beautiful patterns. Thank you so much. I want to let you know up top there's three little buttons. If the video is too fast for you, you can slow down by clicking there. It opens up and it's, it says slow down video. If you don't know how to do it, in the link below, you click on that link to slow down the video. It will show you it's a two-minute video. Also, right next to the three little buttons, there's the closed caption. If you have a hard time to understand, you can turn that on. Everything that I will be calling out the stitch will be written below. You can pause and take notes. 99.9% .9 of the time, I use 100% cotton thread four plies. Now my four plies is very, very similar to Aunt Lydia number three. I get asked all the time where to get them. These four plies that I work with, they're from Portugal. I am in Portugal. These are Portuguese threads. So it's kind of very hard for you guys that are outside of Europe to find them. But you can use Aunt Lydia number three. Aunt Lydia number three is just my, my God, and a, 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 a maybe less than my nail, thicker than my four ply. Now these, of course, using the three ply Aunt Lydia, these are big patterns that come out. In many ways, it's worth it because you economize a lot on thread and your patterns become big. Um, when you're doing table runners, especially, it's perfect for six seater and up and uh, for small little kitchen tables, four seater small Aunt Lydia number 10 is perfect for that. So when you cannot find this type of number four, you can get the number three at Lydia. Okay, so I normally use a 3.5 hook. Sometimes I'll go into a three and a small one to tuck in loose ends and of course a, a pair of scissors. I also would like to mention for the people that are interested to help the women in need of thread or yarn, Please donate. Donate either with money, whatever amount you want. Nobody's asking you for millions. Uh, right below the video, there's a dollar sign. You can click there and two, $2, $3, $4. It's up to you, really. Everything adds up at the end, and we can help another soul. So please do consider that. Or you can go into the description box, and you can uh, put it into my PayPal account. I want to thank for the women already that have helped. Um, Maggie, thank you so much. God bless your heart for sending the thread to uh, Jamaica, to Charmaine. I'm so grateful and humble and can't thank you enough. So thank you so much. For Karen Coffey, thank you so much for your donation of the money for the thread. And Barbara Fout, thank you so much for the donation of the money for the, for the thread. I do need you guys to help out. I cannot do it alone. So please have a heart and think of these women that are in desperate need and don't have the means to buy it. And, you know, if everybody pitches in a bit, we can all help another soul get through their daily stressful days of, you know, worrying money, family issues and health issues, mental issues. We are here on this earth for a short time. If we can do a little blessing gesture God sees all of these things, so please, people, okay? Okay, everyone, so today we're going to create, it's going to be very fast tutorial, the coffee cup koshers. These are the little heart coffee cup koshers. They're perfect to go with those table runners for people that have seen my uh, heart table runners. Then we have the coffee cup runners because we have the table runner, we have the doilies, and now the coffee cup runners. These are perfect also. You can create on any color, especially for Christmas with the red, greens, the golds, 
or any other color for any occasion of the year. So because I've been requested so much about uh, Christmas doilies and koshers and things like that. So we have the green. For you to see better this stitch, I'm going to, or even it's perfect for Christmas this color too, by put, adding some green and, and gold to it. I'm going to use this tan color and it will clear up the stitch better. So this is a four ply, 100% cotton thread uh, hook, 3.5 a pair of scissors and a small one to tuck in loose ends. Okay, let's get started. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up on the video. It's very important. So the first thing you want to do is make that magic circle. And we're going to grab the thread from behind, put your magic circle in position. We're going to do one, two, three. This would equal a double crochet. And I'm going to do another double crochet. I'm just going to pull my thread here a bit. We don't need it that big. Chain two. Now we're going to do eight, well now seven groups incomplete of two double crochets and close at once. We're going to have eight groups like this. Chain two again. Incomplete double crochet, incomplete double crochet and close it together. So this is row one. So I've done my eight groups of two incomplete double crochet and now chain two and I'm going to close it in where we closed off the group. Okay, so you have to have eight. Make sure I'm going to come inside of the center of the two chain with a single and two chain. That would equal a double crochet. So we're going to have two double crochet, two chain, and two more double crochet in the same space. This is row two. I'm going to do a one chain coming into the next space and doing again two groups of double crochet, two chain. If your stitch is too loose, then don't do the uh, one chain, just go directly into the next space. Okay, so I'll do one chain and create my two groups of two double crochet, two chain space, and two more double crochet. Okay, so that's how it's going to be like. So we're going to have eight groups of two double crochet in the same space with one chain space. I'll meet you on the next row. Okay, so we finished up with one chain. I'm coming into the third chain here. And make sure you grab both loops, not just one loop. It's going to look funny. It's going to pull too much on the pattern, okay? I'm going to come to the center again with a single and two chain. That would equal a double crochet. I don't know if maybe the black towel will be better for you to see better. Cut down my lighting here a bit. So now we're going to do another double crochet. We're going to have a total of five double crochets. So two, three, four, five. I'm going to come directly into the next space here in the middle between the groups with a single and back again with five double crochets. So this row will be only five double crochets and a single in between the groups. So two, four, five, and again, in between the groups, a single. Okay, so I'll meet you in row four. One, two, three, on row four. Okay, so I'm going to cut down a bit of the light. So I've closed in, chain three on the same space 
I'm going to do another double crochet. Next space, one alone, next space, two alone, next space, three alone, and on my last one, two together. So I'm going to have two in the same space on your first one. So three, four, five, six, seven double crochets. Chain one into the next double crochet with two in the same space and repeat the same thing. Three alone and two at the end. One chain for space and repeat again. Two together. So row four, seven double crochets. So we've closed in, chain three, we are one, two, three, four, row five. Again, the increase two together at the beginning on the first one, one alone, two alone, three alone, four alone, five alone, and two together. So you're going to have nine double So nine double crochets. We're coming in to where we have the one chain and do um let me see if I'm doing one chain or not. I can't remember. No. Okay, and then back again on the next one and create your two. double crochets and then your five singles not sing well five alone sorry not shouldn't say singles because then you're gonna get your stitch mixed up right and two at the end okay and then back into that one chain with a single and repeat the process two together and then five alone and two together at the end so the next row we're going to continue to do the same thing we'll have 11 with one chain space okay so one two three four five row six one two and three we're going to repeat the same thing two at the beginning one two three four five six seven and two at the end makes your nine and two at the beginning makes your eleven chain one and continue to proceed the same way again two at the beginning your seven alone that makes your nine and two at the last double crochet I'll meet you at the end okay last row row seven so I am going to come right in the center here of my one chain. I'm going to pull my thread back here. Okay. And I'm going to do a single. I'm going to skip my first, my second, and my uh, third one. So on your third one, one, two, three, double crochet. We're going to do this five times in the same space two three four and five I'm going to skip one two on the third space single I'm going to skip one two on the third space 
five double crochets again. This is the other side of the heart to complete. So we have five double crochets, a single in the third chain, a uh, third double crochet, skip two space, one and third, five double crochets. I'm going to come into the center where my one chain is and do a single. So you have your first heart formed. Again, skip one, two on your third space, five double crochets. Skip one, two on your third one, single. Skip one, two on your third one, five double crochets again. And you're pretty much done with this heart. So, very short tutorial, very simple, beautiful crochet. Two, two, four, five. So, you come into the one chain. And you close it off. How pretty that is. Now, just pull in your magic circle for the people that are new to the channel. And this is how we're going to finalize so nothing comes apart. In between the loops back here in the magic circle. Just like that. You can make them in gold. You can mix the color gold and red or gold and green, green and red, and you have your Christmas ones. And then, of course, different colors for other occasions. Okay, so I'll have it on display at the end. And that's how our beautiful little kosher is. Thank you so much, everybody. Until next time. Bye-bye. Take care of yourselves and each other. Oh.